Hello everyone and welcome to episode 7 of Six Kill and Filtered. And we survive 7th episode. Easy. Welcome my friend. Hello. What's going on Dante? Glad to be in here. It's going bro. It's going. Like it is funny because every time that we do an Unfiltered, usually something happened. And man, a lot happened the past few weeks, man. A lot has happened the past few weeks. So we got Carnage finally announced. Uh, we got Rex. We got Death Watch. And we have a lot of stuff going on. So the episode for today is Hot Toys and Q4 of Madness. We mentioned this many shows ago. We warned everyone to oh, get hell because Q4 is going to be a very busy one. And if you think that you saw enough, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet, boy. Yeah, it's a lot yeah, of things boy. happening. But let's start the show first. Before we start, I want to say thank you to everyone who's tuning in tonight for this premiere of this and filter show so thank you so much guys so let's dive in right now and start with the very first thing that i want to talk about which was actually um was yesterday a couple nights ago which is carnage carnage, carnage man uh and guys if you haven't seen the uh, bio pass from easy and fabio you should because it was actually pretty funny pretty good i think <laughs> you guys so weird it was weird but it was actually pretty entertainment you know so you should check it out i'm gonna put the link either, either down here or up here but easy let's start with carnage man what are your first um impressions about this as soon as i saw the prototype the teaser um you know right. that little banner of him i was freaking out i was like oh my god this thing is amazing it's beautiful. It's literally beautiful. And I, we go over this in the buyer pass. I was saying how I love how they didn't put that rubbery suit through his arms. They actually made it hard plastic where they could because Carnage is more of a mess and they can hide those mm -hmm. joints. I like that they did that. Now he just has this vest on of rubber vinyl material, which is more, it's better to me than what uh, Venom had. Um, but I absolutely love this. This is this is so cool. And it's massive. It's probably like the biggest one six hot toys we've gotten. In a long time. I mean, can I say that? In one six scale form, bigger than Thanos. Bigger than Thanos. And 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 yes, I think this one here should I mean, be I'm, the same height probably as the Age of Ultron Hulk, maybe. There people think? were saying that same height as Hulk. I'm not including the Hulk Buster, but I'm I'm saying like right. human flesh type right. figures. Right. But it's oh wow. Wow. This is an amazing <sighs> figure. I really like it. The price point is very high. It's it's pretty high up there for a one six scale figure. But if you look at all the intricacies, details on them, it's it's like you kind of go beyond. Look, you just look over that price and you just look at the figure and you get it. Yeah, you're gonna like, okay, you know what? I think yeah. I can survive with this. But yeah, man, you 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 actually nailed it because yes, there's a lot of differences between this version and the Venom version, and Venom is actually a pretty good figure as well. Yeah, very nice. Um, I can agree that you know the rubbery material might have might be an issue in the future, but mine came pretty good, you know, um, no issues whatsoever. Um, but as you can see on, on, on the carnage, right, you can see that the joints are exposed, which I welcome this, especially for figures like this, that you're going to do a lot of like crazy poses, right? Same on the shoulders. You can see those little, the gap and then on the, on the elbow, then the legs and of course the knees. And I think this is a huge plus because if you compare it with the Venom, right, everything is seamless. It looks good. You might, you know, when you start doing the articulation part, you kind of feel like, mm, I might break this. I'm just going to do it like yeah. slowly, carefully, because it has ratcheted joints. joints. And another thing I don't like, when you touch that material, if I feel like I'm taking the shine off of Venom. You know, when I was touching mm -hmm. it, I could feel like I'm kind of taking that little residue, whatever it was that's on him that makes it so shiny and pretty and 
rubbery. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I took it off with my finger fingers. I just I don't know. I just right. you can't touch that figure as much because right. of that. And you like to touch things, so I, I, like I, to touch I understand. Things. I understand. I understand yeah. that you know. I, you know, because you know, you're not. His you're tongue's not coming handy. Person. Yeah, you can invent it though. <laughs> don't even try because you're gonna break it in half. <laughs> I said, and in my review, I even said hey, you can bend these, and then after, later I'm like, I don't think you can bend these. <laughs> no, you can't bend it, man. You're gonna break it if you do that. Um, don't don't give don't give false advertisement to people, man. People are gonna be oh really? <laughs> oh, shoot, <laughs> you know, don't do that. <laughs> but uh, but no, guys, you should you need to watch uh, Easy's channel. Uh, Biopass is super funny all the time i always enjoy it's, watching those no. videos you know his reviews are excellent as well i love to see them i i think you are the only one that i can actually watch if you have the figure before me i'll watch your review and just because i enjoy it you know? <laughs> because you won't learn anything out of it. <laughs> right it was like just hey this is the figure <laughs> i mean it looks good <laughs> I don't even think it comes with back pieces. I got it. it's in the box, easy. But but this is the beauty of this, right? Like we're collectors, you know. We are not professional YouTubers or anything like that. So you know, we make mistakes all the time. Trust me, yeah. I make mistakes all the freaking time. I misspoke. I you know change names most of the time. I called this guy Bruce Banner, David Banner the other day. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I'm old. I don't know. David. What can I say? What can I say? But anyway, going back to Carnage and and Venom. Yes, I think this is a really good figure. Good call by Hot Toys. My sources told me this was supposed to be releasing sometime in October, and it was released on the 30th in the US, but technically it was October, October. in, in yeah. Hong Kong, right? October 1st. So, you know, again, they go by their time zone, not by my time zone. So I guess that could be a, a thing. But again, it is what it is. It was released. I'm happy that it was released uh, or announced, rather. So, yeah, I mean, the, the articulation seems good. The detail on the face, the, the color is beautiful. And this is just the money shot to me. And this is how I'm going to post. And I think Fabio mm -hmm. mentioned this on your on your buyer pass video. This is how he wants to post his figures. And trust me, I'm going to post it like this. Yeah. And if you have some type of setup, even like a, a detolf, it'll look so good in a box. It'll look like this mess of symbiotes just going at each other. It'll be so it'll be so good looking in a in a um, detolf or wherever you put it. Yeah. I'm getting my module cases hopefully soon. Thanks to my friend Josh from Comic Concepts. Check him out yes. in the link below. Um, yeah, so hopefully when I get my my module cases, um, I can display these guys in a proper way. This guy's coming in 2023, so we still have some time to go. But now the main feature of this carnage, right? If you get in the deluxe, of course, is this awesome head sculpt. And and this is uh, this is the funny thing, right? When I was told that it's a possibility of having a venom from the from the movie. I think now that I'm connecting the dots, probably it was meant to say that it's gonna be Venom coming with a, I'm sorry, Carnage coming with a, with a bust with the head sculpt that you can exchange it or swap it to the actual original Venom. So you know, I, I'm I'm happy with this. What do you think? That's cool too. But all this being made, and with the um, word on the street about what's uh, going on with No Way Home. It makes me want to wait for the white emblem chested um, Venom. I think, like, I really feel like they're pushing this figure a lot. And I feel like I got the insight in my head and my brains mm -hmm. that we will be getting a new Venom when that No Way Home drops or um, with the white spider emblem, something in that nature. But I feel like this is a push to get that get this guy sold and gone because it's already waitlisted on sideshow it is it is it is already waitlisted on sideshow the regular version the regular i think edition. the exclusive one of venom is which still is available which come with an extra symbiote with mm -hmm. the, you know with the extra tentacle, tentacle whatever you want to call it whatever so you know but you know this is the funny thing right the price i think is the same oh no actually let me correct myself the um the looks or the one that comes with the extra tentacle is a, a bit more than the regular version. I think it's the same price. No, I think it's different. Hold on, let me just uh <coughs> sorry, <laughs> let me double check. I think it's the same price though. It's kind of weird because well, the regular maybe, edition maybe, sold out. Maybe, 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 maybe. Hold on, let me check. But uh, man, I, I honestly can't wait for the for this um carnage man like it does yeah. look awesome and and, and and i'm not a marvel character guy like i don't i don't really feel fall for uh marvel stuff but venom and 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 carnage 
It's just Karnaja. Carnegie. Carnegie. Carnegie is oh, very good. Okay, so this uh, Benham here, the collector's edition is uh, is way listed, and then the exclusive one is, is same price for a price. <laughs> so you get an oh, extra but this is the thing, guys. This is the thing, and it's actually pretty good to you know. It's good to mention that you know when you get figures that comes with an exclusive accessory and is the same price, you should always go with exclusive. And the reason why is because let's say this figure is sold out, which has all the every path is going to that direction that this figure is going to be sold out. This special edition is going to go to the roof, and not because I mean it's already four hundred dollars, right? Four or five. Just think about when this is sold out, how much it's going to be, especially the special edition, especially the special edition, special, uh, special. <laughs> special, especially the special edition. So, you know, so, you know, I will definitely get it if obviously if it's within your budget, if it's something that you want to get. But so far, I'm happy, man, with, with this um, Venom, Carnage. I, I think Hathos now, is doing a good job. I know how the Venom material is. Is that the same material used on Thanos? But just not as shiny, or is that material thinner on on, on Venom? Um, no, Venom is a, is a thinner. Yeah, I think Thanos is a bit thicker, thicker. Yeah, and I really haven't seen people complaining about cracking issues on Thanos as long as he's been out. I haven't heard anything. If there were some type of, um, I seen you know, I guess complaints, it was really isolated. I haven't heard anything, to be honest yeah. with you. I my wor my worry is only when it comes to uh, being thinner. That's going to be a problem to me, I, I think. I feel. It'll, it'll dry out easier. It'll... I think tire shine. I really do think tire shine is the best thing for that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, and I can agree with Fabio. I don't like to put stuff on my figures. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and again, this is personal preference. If there's no right or wrong, ever, right? This is just how people wants to treat and, and and take care of their figures. Personally, I don't like to put anything on the figures, uh, just because I'm I'm, I'm an idiot <laughs> and I might just screw it instead of fixing it. You know, I might put some bleach on it. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna put bleach on it, but drink um, bleach. <laughs> and they said this. Some, some bleach, you know, like for to cure COVID. What? Anyway, so um, <laughs> <laughs> so Carnage is going for four hundred forty-five dollars collector's edition, which doesn't come with the Hescop, and with the Hescop is five hundred ten. So yes, it is a it's a price uh, you know increase, but also you need to consider that we're getting a Hescop. And just a hair scope can be expensive, you know, and all the details. We have a bust too. So I can actually agree with the price. Um, obviously, plus shipping, plus taxes, it's gonna be uh <laughs> it's gonna be high. So so that's that's you know what we uh what we have about Carnage. I think you know, my final thoughts on this, very good figure. Yeah, happy he's to one, see it. It's one of those figures that if you love them, buy them. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I mean, if you love it, buy it, and a lot of people love it, so. Yeah, if you love it, you buy it. If you buy it, you love it. If he um, dies, he right? Dies. If he dies, he, he dies. dies. And uh, another figure that came out actually yesterday, uh, something that we were talking about many streams ago, is obviously the one and only Captain Rex. And I can wait to have the figure in hand to do the unboxing and review so you guys can uh, can see it. And people the, were killing about this every release. They're like, "What about Rex?" Right. About we have guy? we have Rex. We have uh, Death, Watch. Death Watch. And let's start with the Death Watch first. So this figure is, if you guys already got your emails from SciShow, this figure is coming pretty much very soon. So you should expect to be charged sometime October fourth, right? If I'm not mistaken, I think October fourth. You should be. Some uh, people I know already have it shipping. You already have a shipping, so this is I, this is I good. Get... You know, I'm gonna have this figure for the boxing review on my channel as well, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I mean, this figure looks fantastic, and you know, this is gonna be the next heavy mando, in my opinion. You know, I don't know what do you think, Izzy? Is this the he next heavy mando? For some reason, I didn't see any, I didn't see much love for this guy yet. Um, in my personal thinking and thoughts. <sighs> Is this the next Heavy Mando? I think Heavy Mando laid a more of an impression than this guy did. Um, if they make variants of this, maybe. 
But I think it's going to be on the normal trooper side of stuff. Like it's going to go for aftermarket sale of 350, 300 to 350 type stages. But I, I, I feel like he's going to be just a, this normal trooper type figure. Mm, mm. It, it is possible. You know, Eris mentioned this in his shows uh, last night that um, he believed that this doesn't have, uh, wasn't produced like in, in a High huge batch. quantity, you know. So because of the demand, I don't think it was a lot of demand on this figure. That's exactly what happened with Heavy Mando. It was not a lot of those. And look what happened now. So this, since this is one figure that personally I like because it looks like Boba Fett. Um, and I think uh, it was either Anthony or, or KG who mentioned that you can actually put this figure together with bo when you have them ready and you know and, and some clone wars characters and it will kind of complement so i think it is it is a good figure you know if you're a mandalorian lover like me and want to complete the whole line man you should pick this guy up you know hands down yeah i just i don't i don't know I, i'm not favoring the look of this guy I and mean, it even looks like boba fett but i just don't favor the look for some reason i don't know why it must yeah. be a lot of people too, because there wasn't a high high demand for them. Yes, yes, and obvious. Oh, shout out to Ultraman for the nice shots. This guy is really good. <laughs> I have to say that this guy is really, really good with the with the shots. Yeah, so you know, Death Watch is supposed to be um, shipping. Well, actually, probably it's already shipping. So you know, people, if you're in the U.S., you know, I would recommend don't get those. You know, don't pay four hundred dollars for this because it's really not worth it. Um, just wait for the shipping since it's almost simultaneously as as SciShow. And and before we move on to Rex, just a quick thing about it, right? I put a post on my on my Facebook group Six Skull Media about the simu- simultaneous releases, right? If is if, if this is a hint, right? Because Miles Morales was also. Um, um, you know, send out an email about it that it was shipping soon. Same happened with the Death Watch. Um, I, I, you know, now that I'm thinking and I start speaking with other people about this, you know, I, I don't think this is going to be a, at least not yet, sim- simultaneous release like Hot Toys does it on, on a Monday and then Sasha will start shipping on a Tuesday, for example, right? I don't think they're there yet, but one thing that we know, and Desi mentioned this yesterday as well in Aries um, live stream, and I think we spoke about this before as well. And my friend Ray from uh, Howard's Toys also mentioned this when we were talking in a, you know in a dudes conversation that um, you know the, the price that you that the Hot Toys is pay, or Sasha rather is paying for shipping, right? If it's ocean shipping, you know, it's pretty much almost the same as air. So why not, especially if there are figures with low quantities like this one, right? Like, you know, Death Watch, Miles Morales. I don't think a lot of people order that one. Um, you know, maybe maybe that's the path we're going to be seeing for certain figures. I don't think we're going to see same-day releases or simultaneous releases for like Captain Rex or Market Defy Battle Damage or those main characters. But do you think it's something to come? Like something revolutionary for the U.S. side? It is very controversial as far as sideshow takes their business. I mean, mm-hmm. it is it is possible. You know, I'm not I'm not ruling that out at all. I think it is very possible that in the future we might see some type of not same, same day, day, you know, but maybe the day after is released in Hong Kong, we'll see something here in the U.S. You know, maybe your emails start going crazy. Oh, this is shipping tomorrow, whatever, you know, or next week or whatever. So yeah. kind of like. In the same type of time, you know, stateside stateside business will increase. I mean, if a lot, if we, I mean, if we can keep it in the in the states, I mean, I mean, why not? You know, and everybody gets to share, and no no cheating of day one. <laughs> yeah, and another thing, also, you know, uh, and again, somebody mentioned this. I don't remember who it was, but I think it was Anthony or someone else. I don't remember, but if had if Sasha decides to do something like simultaneous release type of thing, right? This should have an option in when you do the shipping, like express shipping. Like maybe you pay another ten dollars on top of whatever shipping it is, and you get it like in two days. Yeah, because I know in Sideshow they got FedEx and UPS. Right. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is, but there's a cost difference. Right. So or if they wanna if they wanna make the lives easier, and again, this is just a thought. Why not having Hot Toys Secret Base shipping those figures directly to the U.S. when the, when it's released? And obviously, Sideshow will take the, the they will pay the price for the 
for the first batch type of things. So maybe, you know, same day releases like $10 more on top of the retail price. I don't know. But maybe instead of waiting all these months to get the figures, actually Hong Kong ships those figures to the customers in the U.S., that's a possibility. I don't know. Again, I don't work in that uh, in those companies. I'm just kind of like you know uh, speculating here. But that would be cool, though, right? So people will get stuff right away. Yeah, that it will bring a lot of stuff to the U.S., which we need. That we definitely instead need of that. waiting, you know, three four months sometimes. And sideshow gets their batches mixed up. Like I've ordered Death Watch a long time ago, and there's people that ordered it last week, and they got their shipping notice. And I'm like, where's my shipping notice? Right, right. So, yeah. So it, it is. It is like that. So another figure that was released was Captain Rex. And guys, I can wait to have this figure in hand. I'm gonna do the unboxing and review next week as soon as I get it. Um, you know, I, I just can't wait. I mean, we were talking about this for a long time. Previous streams, previous unfiltered shows. Easy. What are your thoughts when you saw this guy? You know, in the morning. I mean, this. Was- Honestly, this was one of my least surprised figures when I saw it release. Um, it, it's it been expected for so long that I'm, I, when I saw it, I was like, finally. Finally, this guy has come out, and finally we're getting him. Now, I'm going to go look at my supplier and say, where he at? <laughs> it's, it wasn't even joy. It was like, where is he? Right. Where is he? <laughs> where is he? <laughs> but I, I, I just honestly, to me, it looks a lot better than a prototype, though. It does. If you look at the weathering and stuff like that, it's much it better. Looks, to me, it looks a lot better than the prototype. Yes. Um, I agree. Whatever time they took on it, it was worth the wait, and I'm mm. glad. Um, I mean, we can't get so mad at them because the more they rush, the less of a product we get. So I, I, I was really expectant of this release when i saw it now it's a matter of where is he pretty much and i agree 100 percent. and this is something that we also discussed in previous shows that what happened with the mark 85 disaster with the with the hellscop trigger a lot of things right delays and and you know they lost a lot of money like uh, and whole, on top of that it was literally a full year of waiting. almost a year and a half of backups yeah yeah because that, that's what happened you know, whoever made the decision was either drunk or blind. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but you know, it, 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 we said this before. We mentioned this before uh, that Hato is moving forward. Whatever they release, they're going to make sure, one, the headscope is really good. And two, the figure is up to the expectations of the consumers because they don't want to have the same issue they got with Mark 85. And I understand that. And, and so far, we have to create what is due. So far, Hato is delivered on the figures that we've seen releasing. So that's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. But uh, but yeah, my expectation is very high on this one. I can wait to have it in hand to do the review. I have good feelings about the, the, the body. I mentioned this before as well, that it might have the same body as the 501st, which to me is one of the best bodies for a trooper. Uh, it may have r- 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 ratchet joints. Ratchet joints. And that will be another huge plus. So yeah, man, this is something that we can wait we can i can wait (laughs) wait. wait, we've waited this long might as well wait a couple more weeks yeah yeah exactly exactly you know it it doesn't hurt right so now let's let's talk about uh let's talk about the list so i i did a show if you guys if you guys haven't seen this uh what's next show where we talk about releases rumors you know and anything that's going on in the one six scale community um, so there was a list going around about figures that were supposed to release in the next month and, and in the quarter in general. So I just made an explanation that this list was only of based on delayed figures, something that was supposed to be released sometime back. Now they're going to see the lights. And we got Rex that was part of the of the list, right, Rex? But there's all other figures that were part of that list. And... Uh, and some of them, I'm, you know, I just can't wait to, to see them because, you know, it, it, it's going to be a really good, uh, uh, you know, thing to have. This one is one of them, you know, uh, Captain America 2012. And uh, Izzy, what are your thoughts about this, man? I, you know, my thoughts on Marvel. It's it's like, a, okay, sure. But the head sculpt, I'm glad they improved. I mean, still to this day, I say that doesn't look like Steve Rogers. 
I, I feel something is missing from the likeness. There was some customs people made of Steve Rogers that looked a lot better than what Hot Toys is doing. But um, I think this is a good Captain America for those who are hardcore Captain America fans. Th guys who wanted the OG suits and stuff back, I think this is this is a perfect one for them. This is America's ass. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it, technically it is. <laughs> and and uh, no, I agree. The health, the head scope, um, was improved. Um, I honestly didn't have an issue with my any previous Captain America. I think it looked to me, it looked good. It I looked always like have a problem. Rogers. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know. You you mentioned that, uh, and, it and it's fine. Like it, it looks like John Cena mixed with uh. <laughs> Steve Rogers with with, with Ivan Drago. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> if he does, he does. He does. But um, but again, I think the final prototype, the final prototype, the final version is gonna be better than this. That they, they're taking their time to nail the, those head sculpts, you know. So, you know, I, I think uh, it's, it's gonna come nice. I think, you know, I, I don't think it's gonna be an issue. I mean, it's already a good figure for those who think the head sculpts is fine. So that's going to be that uh, a lot of people is going to get this figure. I know a lot of people that's getting this figure and wanting this figure. So it'll go for sure. Regardless yeah, it, it of how much sure. John Cena likeness he has. <laughs> Come on, man. That's a look like John Cena. <laughs> his jawline. I think it's too. I don't know. Something is up with that head sculpt. I just don't think so. Yeah, well, but I, I mean, I honestly still see uh, uh, Steve Rogers there. I don't know. You're blind. <laughs> yes so for the next one is uh captain marvel and you know this one is supposed to come q4 as well um probably november i don't know but it's, it's coming next right that's what the list which is legitimate so it's not like a bullcrap it is really a legitimate source so captain marvel a lot of people don't like this figure i love this figure and and this is just me you know, I don't mind Brie Larson. I don't mind this character at all. I don't like um, Brie Larson. She has weird toes. <laughs> weird toes? What the hell? You didn't see that photo when she was like on red carpet or something. <laughs> weird toes. Somebody got a picture um, of her toes and it looks like it looked like cat poop. I don't know. It was weird looking. Oh, God. Um, well, just, you know, I, I think this figure looks good to me. Uh, again, let's wait for the final version. Um, I know this figure doesn't have much love, but I have a feeling that once everyone sees it in hand, maybe some some people are going to change their mind. But me personally, I think it is a nice figure. Um, she looks good. And one thing that I like about this is this nano gauntlet. I don't think we got anything close to this. We got different versions, but nothing like this. Yeah, that's Hulk's gauntlet, right? Yeah, but the, it's different. There's some differences in this one. Oh, it's like gonna, you know, the, the the damage part, or there's something different about this, you know, that we don't see in any other uh, um, figures, you know, because usually that's what Hatos does, right? They they complement each other, they put stuff to complement other characters, you know. But yeah, I I think this one is gonna be a good uh, a good figure. What do you think? It looks very good, but as always, the suits scare me. I mean, I have. I have issues with Hot Toys in their qual like the the materials they use all the time. Uh, this, I mean, this looks like a rubbery type suit, right? That pleathery rubber type suit, right? It's more like so, a Spider Man type of uh, Spider Man type of yeah. suit. So e either something's gonna you can't bend it for a long time. It's, I mean, look how smooth it is here. Mm -hmm. But when you start mm -hmm. creasing it up, bending it, posing it, the head sculpt is absolutely perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Head it looks nice. Absolutely perfect. Right. Right. And that's and for a female or a male, whatever this is, they got <laughs> the head sculpt absolutely amazing. Because usually on female head sculpts, if you look around, they don't really nail them as Gamora good. didn't nail the Gamora. I think Gamora they nailed, looks uh no, uh, but their faces are so like like I think Brie has a real look to her. No yeah, they, 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 I do. think they nailed the likeness on this yeah. one. It has a human-like look to her. You can see next the the what's her name, the chick with the antenna. Um, <laughs> what was her name? I, I can never remember. Uh, what's her name? Oh my god, I can't remember the name. You guys, if you Mantis? know the names, Mantis. There we go, Mantis. 
we we need mantis man <laughs> we, I, I think we need mantis that will complement all the figures that we have 260 bucks i mean it should be coming soon that's one of the figures that are in the list so we should expect that one to um to come any anytime soon and then there's another figure that i honestly can wait to see because this figure i think oh, i missed the first time um is this guy here loki oh loki loki 2022 this is a nice classic suited loki right this is grail loki this i can tell grail you right there okay yeah is it's a it's an improvement i think the Hasco looks very nice. Maybe a few tweaks here and there. And again, you know, I, Hot Toys has been doing service to the to the fans. They've been fixing stuff. They've they've been improving things. So don't be surprised if the final product is actually much better than this. Which I have a good and feeling. Which usually, usually turns out with Hot Toys. We used to get until Tony Stank, the year of Tony Stank. We used to get figures coming out. Absolutely perfect. Better than the prototype. Now, because of Tony Stank delays and all that stuff, it's been kind of hard to get out, I guess, of Hot Toys, you know, perfect product. But I think, like you said, now is a new era of Hot Toys. Hot Toys stepping up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Material-wise, not so much. But details and worksmanship and paint apps, sculpt, I think they're really stepping it up on that. Yeah, but why is that? Like, this is the question I always have. Like, why? Okay, so they're stepping up, they're stepping up on the head sculpt. They're improving a lot, and we have to give that credit to them because they did improve a lot. But why? Why not paying closer attention to, to the to the actual suits and and materials, right? Because That's... when they do the X, when they do the X, they improve that. I mean, the tailoring mm -hmm. is is top of the line. But you know, this is an expensive figure right off the bat, so they should. Pay more attention. And a lot of people don't actually pay attention on that. The DX figures get a lot more attention tailoring wise and quality wise than your normal figure. And I think that's what people, Hot Toys, and people for, tend to forget that Hot Toys does a way better job. On these normal figure releases, like you said, why don't they find byproducts? Why don't they engineer themselves research and development into byproducts or whatever kind of materials they can use to make better? Um, longevity out of their figures because what's one of the biggest problems of hot toys materials uh mm -hmm. cracking um breaking this and that their bodies are perfect you know even if it's not rat rat ratcheted rat it's perfect rat almost. i mean it's not like a sideshow status where they're still releasing crap bodies and i'm like oh my god sideshow come on <laughs> i know I know but, but the, um, the, the horror line is actually pretty good though i have to give that to sideshow uh the horror line figures like mm -hmm. you know freddy krueger jason mike myers you know leatherface those are actually pretty good figures yeah. you know i did some reviews about it so check it out if you haven't but yeah you can continue sir but with your point why can't they improve that you know it's a big issue and like anakin skywalker he's a grail until he until he starts to break so <laughs> like his pleather jacket or i have a batman where he has his cape but a little bit of his cape is touching his um uh neckline right on the head sculpt and there's a giant black mark Bark. from the paint rubbing on his cape yeah from the on his neck and i'm like come on man and even i see they're improving certain things like capes you know like yes it's, it's flowing a yes. lot better and stuff okay cool mm -hmm. but still you know, the material usage and all that kind of stuff is still behind, I feel, for what kind of company they are. I mean, right. why are we paying premium? I mean, think about it. 500 some dollars, 550 bucks, you know, for a carnage. And we're looking at right now, it's possible to break within so-and-so time frame, depending, you know, on your weather and how you take care of it. How you I, break, it. I break things. I break things all the time. So that's my biggest fear. When I do reviews of figures like, you know, Venom or, or something that is kind of like very delicate, man, I, I get scared, man. I really get scared because I don't want to break stuff, you know, breaking stuff. If but, you uh, break but, it, you buy it. If you break it, you buy it. Yeah, that's that's true. And another, another figure that is also in the list that is supposed to come very soon as well is one that I personally, despite the movie, which I think it was okay, is this one here <laughs> the wonder woman 1984 this head sculpt is amazing amazing i love what this do you figure. Think? 
Like you said, hate the movie. Love this figure. Man. This is just, I mean, that Hesco is beautiful, man. I mean, come on. They I think nailed, this is the best. They nailed, nailed, nailed it. it though. They nailed it on this one. I'd like to nail. Um, <clears throat> yep. it, Wait, what? It, yeah, they nailed the likeness. Nice yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a very yeah. nice figure, yes. Unfiltered, uh, guys. It's what <laughs> it's filtered. What? Yeah, it's unfiltered. No, like they're gonna ban me then. Yeah, um, <laughs> we should call it six scale band. Um, <laughs> six scale bannings, bannings. Uh, <laughs> so, no, I agree with you. They nailed the likeness of Gaga Dodd on this one. She looks beautiful, man. She looks and I remember amazing. when this figure came out, we looked at the price tag and it was like, how much is this retailing for? Three. Three hundred dollars, the collector. But look at this, and the deluxe Boom. is a little bit more with the wings. Three sixty, and we were like, "Oh my god, that's so expensive!" It I mean, hurts. back then when it came out, which is not too long ago, and we were like, "Oh my god, this is so expensive!" Now we have Hot Toys reaching upwards of three hundred sixty on the norm as a regular release, and then deluxes hit and stuff like Carnage <laughs> hitting five fifty. <laughs> we're in a new era. It was, I know. It's short lived. It's short lived. I remember this was like. Oh, Whoa, like $360. My brain cannot complicate. I mean, but wow, the cost has <clears> gone <throat> up, and that's why I complain constantly on the material usage of hot toys. But this can we see the back? The back? Oh no, I mean <laughs> <laughs> but this is I like this. Yeah, no, the wings and everything is, is just amazing. I, like I mean, th I think this... this is gonna be my Wonder Woman. I mean, the movie yeah. sucked, you know. This this type of figure here is, regardless of whether you like the movie or not, is to have this figure. You know, if you're a collector, obviously, and, and if you can afford it, obviously. But, you know, despite whether you like it or not, this is an amazing figure. I mean, the, the detail, the just for, just for the quality, right? The head sculpt, the wings, the armor, you know, the, the hair. It, it, you know, it's articulated wings. Come on. I'm, come on. I'm not okay. That they went with the hair, like you know the um, it's not rooted, but like a wig, basically. Right, right, right. I would have preferred a sculpt because if they had sculpted the hair, that beautiful flowy hair, I think it would have been absolutely perfect. A lot of people are going to go against me on this because a lot of people like that wig, but. You know, and and you know, for the for I'm not hundred percent on the uh, on the this type of hair. Um, I like sculpted hair. I think because they have more chances more to do and it this, in them. right to to put it right. But some figures, I agree, they should have hair. Like for example, the I don't know if you guys saw the, my review of uh, Evoni Ma, uh, the wizard, space wizard. I mean, the hair is perfect. It's straight. Is 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 perfect. You know that one. I agree. Some of them are really like. Uh, but like on this one, I just it looks it makes it more so of a Barbie. I mean, I don't like the Barbie look. I just and then after a while it gets so messy, and then after futzing with it, and it just it gets wild. So the sculpt would have made this an absolutely perfect figure. I think it would have been, you know, have you seen the J and D Studios um one third statue? Yeah, made, made out of real silicon, and it was like two thousand bucks or three thousand. That would have it looked it would have looked like a mini one to like this would have been a mini one, you know. Yeah, it could have been a statue. Yeah, but because the health the head scope is just amazing. Amazing, it's perfect. The scope is it's perfection, perfection. Gal Gadot is perfect. Is, you know, she's perfect too. Um, You're but then perfect. you know, th then for the list, the list is kind of long, so I'm not gonna go in detail every single figure. You know, then we have Harley Quinn, we have Batgirl, and you name it, right? But now. Let's let's really talk about the Q4 and what it means to your wallet, because oh. as you know, as we mentioned in previous live streams and episodes, that we should expect a very busy Q4, and that's something that we cannot take for granted because now the 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 things are gonna be the figures are gonna be releasing, and you need to pay for those, <laughs> right? Whether you are on a payment plan or whether you want to pay everything when it comes. Everything, it's, it's so funny because everything in this pandemic is so weird. Either we're not getting figures and we're saving up money and spending stuff on spending our money on something else, or we're going to get a shit ton of figures and we're broke and we're going to go bankrupt. 
<laughs> this pandemic makes things so unbalanced. But like he said, prepare your butts. You're going to have to get out your wallet. You're going to have to work a few more hours a week. It's going to be a hefty Q4. It's going to be a fun release, though, because a lot of our loved figures that we wanted are coming out. You know, like a Grail status Loki, Grail status Captain America. Yeah. Yes, yes. Like you showed this Wonder Woman, Ahsoka, Rex just Rex is about to pop out. And that's so. in our next topic, Ahsoka. Oops. So according to my sources, <laughs> according to my sources, we should see Ahsoka very soon. And I can probably say it most likely could be next week. So that's gonna be a, a, a huge thing because this figure is a unique one. That's um usually right. You know, this figure is a unique figure. We don't have any Hescope like this. So this is something absolutely new. Now we know Ahsoka is Rosario Dawson, so we're going to see more figures with that likeness. And, man, I really hope that this is sooner because I think we're going to be able to complete our Clone Wars uh, line. But what do you think, Is it? Do you think, based on the sources, based on what we heard, that this one can be out next week sometime? Based on you? Yeah, yeah, I believe it. Because if Dante says it, that means it's coming. <laughs> I mean, we. I mean, somehow he's this prediction wizard. As many sources as you can get, sometimes it just doesn't happen. But if you're saying at next week, I, I do believe so. And with these Rex being, you know, this past week, it would make sense, you know, have the 501st get complete right here. So, yeah. Yeah, that would be awesome, man. But yeah, this one is supposed to hit, hopefully, uh, you know, it's very soon in October. Anytime in October, but my prediction is probably next week. Um, so let's see and wait. I mean, again, we still have the, the rest of October left. So if it doesn't happen next week, some somehow somewhere in next in October, my pr prediction, me Dante predicting this, I think it's gonna be next week. I think either Monday, like Tuesday, or Friday. Do you uh, like this figure? So, okay, so that's a good question. That's a good question. I'm not, okay, I like the character Ahsoka. I, I haven't seen the Clone Wars, um, but, you know, I watch videos, you know, other Star Wars uh, YouTubers, you know, spoke, speaking with my friend Ares, sixcalcantina.com. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I spoke to many people about this character. Uh, she's, she's pretty good. You know, she's a good character. This figure in particular, you know, now that I know Rosario Dawson is Ahsoka, I was on the fence, but then I was thinking, okay, let's let's step back a second and think about this. This figure is unique, number one. That right there is your growl. Mm -hmm. It's unique. You will not see any other figure with this likeness, right? Uh, this figure has, has a lot of things, you know, uh, comes with a bunch of accessories. We have the poncho, looking awesome. The dual lightsaber, looking awesome. You can put her next to Rex. Even better, right? I, I think this figure has all the ingredients to be a grill, you know? And, yeah. and I don't think it's going to be produced in higher quantities quantities either. And it may be the only re uh, reference to animated Clone Wars we get from Ahsoka from Hot Toys. I think this is the one all be all, right? I mean, do you see yeah. any other way hot toys would say okay there's another clone wars animated series ahsoka coming i don't think so <gasps> dante died but do i mean do you guys see it, that happening I, I don't i don't think so i don't feel hot toys would say we have a need to make another animated series ahsoka with the same head sculpt i think um, for, i think for many this would be it i mean once you I have this think, i think this one we will be it unless they decide to do a younger version of ahsoka from the from the previous seasons right do a child one you know i don't know but but this particular one i think that's it i think yeah. that's it you know but then this, we this, go ahead no you what were you saying no no then we we're gonna see more from rosario dawson especially because she's gonna have her show the Ahsoka mm. show. So, you know, I think this is it. <laughs> my my only issue with this is I see a lot of clothes staining because it's that Fison, uh, what we call a Fison seamless body. Her gauntlets, her jacket, right where her arm is lifting up like that, and it it's rubbing up against her arm. When you put that back down, after some time, you're going to be like, oh, wait, what's that mark? And you can't get it off. 
It's going to be some issues like that. That's what I see with this figure on her arms. And especially that blue dye. It's not going to be like, it's not like she's wearing a, a orange uniform that uh, it will blend in. It's going to leave a mark. Right. But also, you know, but also it's good to mention that this is the prototype. So we need to see how the final product comes out. Maybe mm -hmm. they thought about it, you know, and they make some minor fixes. Maybe they put a little gap between the shoulders. You know, um, I, I always like to give the benefit of the doubt to Hot Toys when it comes to prototypes I, because, yeah. you know, normally, I mean, obviously, you know, you don't want to see something that is, w you know, worse than the prototype, right? Like what happened with Mark 35. Um, but I have a feeling that this one is going to be improved in some minor ways, you know. Yeah, I, I usually don't give them benefit. Oh, she's really short. She's pretty short, yeah. She's pretty short. It will blend nice with Anakin, though. If you have the Anakin from the episode three. I hope nice. she's 18 because I touch my figures too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh so, yeah i'm gonna get crazy uh, you, you can't monetize but, this <laughs> <laughs> but uh but but anyway the other figure that we're supposed to see very soon and and this one i know a lot of people because a lot of people ask me when they saw the list coming they were like Yo, what happened with this figure? What's happening? Is this happening? Well, what's going on? You know, the next figure that we should see is this guy. <laughs> Are you Georgie? Hi, Georgie. Want some popcorn? Popcorn. 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 <laughs> okay, now that that's over. <laughs> yeah, that's the introduction, introduction from my friend uh, Pennywise. Uh, Pennywise is coming in October as well. And I have a feeling that it's going to be close to Halloween, which it will make perfect oh, sense. That makes perfect sense now that you say that. It will make perfect sense. So, yes, it is coming. What it is coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, calm down. But we, I mean, that's that's amazing. Yeah, like, this, this is crazy. This is, this is awesome. This is so cool. I don't do horror line, Dante. That's going to be more of your thing, and you're going to be a lot better on this review than anyone probably would be that I know of, because Dante does horror line. If you haven't tuned into him, he does a uh, he does you do Ghostface, you do Myers, you do Leatherface, a lot of faces. Freddy, you do Jason. Freddy, Jason. Yeah. So I, that's about to get a couple more too. But yeah, but this one, man. Oh my god, this if one. Hot I'm... toys. Now this this is an this is a little. If this does well, which it will. I, I it will <laughs> it will <laughs> it, 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 I feel Hot Toys should introduce a horror line. There is a handful. I'm not going to say there's a lot. I'd say there's a handful of collectors that deep down secretly like the blood and like the horror and like the evil sinister look of these figures in their collection. Even normal collectors I see like this look. Even me, I like this look. Now there's certain ones like Ghostface and Leatherface and Pinhead, Hellraiser, those type of people I wouldn't get into. But Hot Toys, if they could get more picky on the ins and outs mm -hmm. of you know more popular horror characters, I think it would be successful line for them because we're getting Marvel, Star Wars, you know these what it's a lot. So, mm -hmm. so um, I think it's going to be good. I mean, Dante, you you know this more than <laughs> I do. Give me a hug. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm telling you, man. Yo, this, yeah, this, hands, this little boy, right? That was hey, Joker. I, don't I know, know but no, this. I'm telling you, man. This figure is gonna be perfect. It's gonna kick it out of the park. I mean, yeah. the, the, the detail on this one is insane. The costume, the head sculpt, the amount the of body, the body, even the linky body. Oh my god! You get two is... head sculpts. All these accessories, a brand new diorama base. Hot Toys did work. On this Look figure, yeah. they worked on this figure, and it makes you want to think that there's more to come from horror lines, you know. Like they enjoyed working on this figure. It's not like, oh, we have another Iron Man, you get the same base, same accessories, same paint app, same everything, just a brand new, highly detailed head sculpt. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> no, but the, I mean, look at look at the amount of accessories. The base, we have the balloon, we have mm -hmm. this little box here, a different head sculpt. We have an arm. <laughs> we have the skateboard, <laughs> the the, the boat, the the the, the bunch of hands, and, yeah. and even even in the base, you can see his eyes under, like in the in the some background. people. But that's some people say that that's not him under there. I want to I want to challenge them because that looks like creepy. That looks like somebody in there. 
it, it does look like summer. But some people Very say creepy. no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Some people, uh, I don't know. But I love yeah. this. I love this figure. It's it's coming. <laughs> it's, <laughs> you want some popcorn? Popcorn, Georgie. Pop 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 pop. pop, pop, pop. It's coming. Yeah, so it's coming. I think it's going to be sometime towards the Halloween, you know, maybe in, in a couple of weeks. If it's sooner, actually, even better. Better. <laughs> you know, even better if it's sooner. But, you know, it's probably going to be towards the end of um April. So that's about it. And uh, now let's... Um, I got he did that. Man. He did that. You know, that was about <laughs> it. Now we have... Motorcycle was passing. Now we have another figure that is also potentially, potentially coming in October. And according to the sources, coming soon. Boom. Lando Calrissian from Empire Strikes Back. Uh, 40th anniversary from Star Wars movies. Sexy bisexual robot man. And we spoke about this in Eris' show last night at Six Star Cantina. Make sure you check the live stream that we did yesterday because it was fun as hell and we we spoke about this land of possibility we have a strong feeling that this figure is coming very very soon my sources told me that this figure is to be expected sometime in october however however you know sometimes things can change and because we're gonna get so many figures coming very soon it is a possibility that we might see this early november but i still think that we probably we're gonna see this in october sometime in october what do you think is it completely collectibles? I didn't see this one coming. Um, you're the first one, you guys were the first ones to let me know that you know this might be soon. Um, but well, well waited because we're still waiting on like Bespin Han. I saw a little teaser of Bespin Han you sent me, that was awesome. Um, inside joke, but <laughs> but um I, I like it. I you want to enjoy it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want to see more figures around this didn't hoth luke release around the same time as this guy or am i wrong i, I think i'm wrong hoth luke hoth luke the one with the with Speeder the pilot luke? yeah pilot luke yeah, yeah it was announced but i think that one is coming next year i believe Damn, and, i need year. to check but this is a very well appreciated figure they they work the body nice as you can see the body is not just some random beefy dude it's lando's body I like stuff like that. I like so this is just an all out good figure. I, I can't wait for it. So when it does release, I'll be happy and excited. I won't be like Rex, like where is he? Just do it. Bring it to me. So <laughs> I know. Like but but you know what? The good thing about this is that you can have this guy, if you have the the Millennium Falcon cockpit behind me, oh, yeah, you can actually work. put him inside with with uh with um Chewbacca or Lando next oh, I'm sorry, Han Solo next to him. So you have options, you know, and and I think this figure is gonna also be, you know, nice. Uh, I don't think they have a lot of this uh, quantity wise, um, but this is the OT character, so we need to respect that. And this is gonna be a good addition to the collection. Plus, it is a 40th anniversary edition. You're so get... think about the price when this figure uh, is sold out. Are we gonna get the special looking box? I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is the same as the Boba Fett one. With a nice design with the window, Frame, and the Kenner. Yeah. They're basically Kenner using the Kenner style stuff, so that's gonna be cool. Yeah, that's a little bit more cool. value in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be sick, man. I can't wait for that one. So that one should happen sometime in October or probably early November. That's my prediction. It, it, I was told that it is coming, so um, you know, I, I think we're gonna have it sooner rather than later. You know, and then there's another figure as well that we were talking yesterday with my friend Aries at his show, um, which is a figure that is also part of the Clone Wars gang, and it is none other than Darth Maul from Clone Wars. So this figure should be expected to be released also in Q4, sometime in Q4. So I, many you know, figures. It's so many figures. That's what I said, guys. That's what I said. Q4 and what it means to your wallet, because you're gonna have tough decisions to make you know uh if, if you can buy it all if you can afford it perfect but if you were like a one of us like a normal person we're gonna try to to see which one we're gonna get first and which one we're gonna get 
and then do the review and then just part ways because we have no more space and we need money for other figures, which is my case. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I, I think that this figure looks really good um, and we should see it sooner too. This was a mall that I just did not pay attention to. <laughs> Am I the only? I think I'm the only. I, I know a few people that they, they didn't like this rendition of Maul either. They went Clone Wars for him, but then again, you're like, he looks exactly the same as the other Mauls. I mean, there's yeah, a like it's a variation on the suit, though. Like, it's a variation, it's a, variation it's a Clone suit. Wars one, you know. But I've had my dose of Mauls, and I think the Han Solo there, the solo movie Maul is the ultimate that Maul. That mall is absolutely amazing where his mechanical legs is so mm. highly detailed and beautiful. And this mall is just like, it's, it's just like a it's vanilla cool. version of that one <laughs> to me. Plus, plus remember, we're going to see the Obi-Wan show. So it is very possible that we're going to see that version of Darth Maul from the yeah. solo movie. Yeah. So that's another thing that we need to take into account. It's, that's his box, right? I forgot. That's his box. When you go back, that, that's the box. And it especially features Mandalorian sarcophagus. sarcophagus. So, yeah, that's a box. I think it's just designed like so, and you can put him in a box. I don't know why you would put him in a box and display him like that, but I mean, photography reasons, it'll work out because you know photographers. No, no it's not like you put it in. The, wait, can you put it in the box? No, no. This is just. I think he has the the the, the effect that he's inside the box. I don't think you're going to just put it there and display it like that. I hope it is. Go, there's a picture point. where it shows him inside no, the is. box. Look, where, it, where is, is it is. Let me see. It is. You see? Maybe it has a lot of features. Effect? I don't know. Maybe something that you put inside so it gives that that uh, effect. You know? Yeah, I don't think you're going to put that figure in the box. <laughs> then what's the point? <laughs> box it up and display it, guys. <laughs> this is the purpose. <laughs> But the Hasco looks nice. I love the outfit. It's, it's a Clone Wars style figure, so you know it will definitely complement well with the other Clone yeah. Wars figures. First non DX sure. mall, right? First non DX mall. Yes, this is not a DX. This is a regular mall. But his eyeballs still move. Ahsoka Tano's eyeballs move. Um, his his eyeballs move too. I'm assuming, yeah. Um, but look at that full body yeah. tattoo. Yes, and I agree with this. I, I agree with this type of body because, you know, when you have a figure like this that has articulation, you don't want to have seamless joints on this one because it's going to be really hard to put dynamic like poses. So I can agree with the design on this one. Now let's see if the final product has some type of improvement because I can see some gaps. So let's see. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's your typical nice-looking figure. I just I don't fa I don't favor him. But yeah, and it comes with a lot of things. So yeah, so this one we should see in Q4, sometime in Q4. I think my prediction November. You know, so let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. It just it's way too similar for the uh, mall head sculpt. Is his ears attached? What do you mean? You know, at the lobe, it attaches to his face. Does is the? Yeah, his one one piece. This is sculpted like that. His is like that. Yeah. You're gonna check your your thing. Let me see. I think it is the same thing. Let's see. Let's see, if we have a closer shot on this one. And guys, let me know in the comments below if you will get this Darth Maul. I know a lot of people love this character, including myself. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're gonna get this one when it's finally out and released. It's, it's weird because the Phantom Menace one has a lobe, you know, like mine, and then the Solo Maul one is like connected like that. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. Ray Park, what happened to you? I know you do some weird things. <laughs> I know. And then last but not least, I'm going to show you another figure that it was actually pushed to be released sooner rather than later. And and actually, it's funny because I was in every show the other day, and I actually said this be before this happened. And the reason why I think we're going to see this figure sooner rather than later. And we know, we know that December is going to be the month of the book of Boba Fett. Mm. So with that being said, uh, <laughs> this figure was pushed to be released by, according to SciShow, January to February 2022. My prediction is that this figure is going to hit Hong Kong, is going to be released in Hong Kong by December. 
and probably we're going to see it by the 29th, which is the, the, uh, the Tuesday or the 27th. So we're going to see it in the same week as the book of Boba Fett. And it will make perfect sense to me because, you know, you want to get this one out of the way to start the, the, the figures from the month, the book of Boba Fett. So People. what do you think, Isi? people's wallets will be destroyed. destroyed i mean this is pricey stuff coming out um this is this is not troopers we're talking about double sets deluxes um high-end more high-end figure styles so i mean this release is going to be awesome within itself I, I would love to see this that's awesome i would love to see this um come before january so yes i think I it love, will i, would love, I think love, it will love to see it my my prediction: This figure is gonna be probably out by December, same week as the book of Boba Fett. Because again, this is gonna be a grail as well. This is a two pack. You have the full Tamara Morrison character with the Boba Fett armor. That's a movie you know? scene right there, man. Damn. Yeah, and think about this, right? And this is what I mentioned in Eris shows last night. You know, this is the figure, or this is the character that was introduced, reintroduced to the world. That Boba Fett was still alive. Mm -hmm. And this is how you saw it the first time after Return of the Jedi. So there is no way in my mind that you're gonna say, ah, this figure is trash. I'm gonna pass on it. <laughs> There's no way. This is yeah. like this is I'm, this is I, it. I, I'm not I'm I'm gonna say I'm passing on this. I mean, I'll probably still have it up for review and whatnot, but I'm so gonna buy a pass. And buy a pass in this, I'm gonna pass only because. I absolutely love a one all be all kind of stuff and the um Boba Fett on throne. Oh that sick. That thing is amazing. That one I mean, sick. this thing is very nice as well. This thing is like you said, the uh, the the rebirth. Muy bonito. It's muy bonito. El, 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 I can't speak Spanish. It's very nice as the rebirth of um Boba Fett. This is yeah. the rebirth figure, you know? It's so rebirth. Yeah, the, you know, you know, since you guys know I, I've been saying this for a long time, I'm going to get all Mandalorian figures because I want to have that line completed. So I'm more like a completionist, even though maybe I, I may not like one figure, but I'm going to get it all just because that's my personal preference. I can wait for this one. And again, my prediction is we should see this figure coming in sometime in December. But then I have one, just one little bonus for you guys. Before more. We wrap this up. More. This is another figure. And I, I know, man, I know. And we have another figure that, you know, and I know we have more more stuff to cover, but, you know, we're running out of time here. You got Grogu um, behind you like, sup, bro? Yeah, man. It, we, we, it, it, is, it, it is, it is, if he dies, he dies. dies. Yeah, that's pretty much what Hattos is telling us right now. If he dies. If you die, you die. You die. You break here. your wallet or you buy it. Yes. Brother, you just were going to break this. Anyway, so this figure should be coming next as well the short trooper from rogue one you should expect to see this guy coming very soon as well q4 anytime november december you name it this i can't figure, wait yeah this figure is actually you know it's not delayed according to what i was told um but we should see this one coming soon as well in the q4 so that's what i said q4 and what it means to your wallet because now you guys need to sit down Talk to the missus and say, all right, honey, we have some tough decisions to make. Should I get the short trooper? Should I get the kidney? Mandalorian? Or should I pay mortgage? <sighs> it's a very really difficult uh, decision the, to make. The mortgage, that <laughs> just, you can just pay it next month. Right? Uh, you I know. mean, this stuff, you if you don't get it on time, you'll get you'll get bored of you know seeing it and it's just hurting your feelings. It's what's inside that matters. Exactly. So, by the way, so yeah, so you're gonna have a lot of tough decisions to make, guys, and uh, you know this one should be coming soon as well. Well, actually, Q4. Let's put it that way, Q4 somewhere in Q4. Um, I think November, probably, maybe, you know, October, and, and it seems that we're gonna get a lot of things in October. Maybe not. You know, it's just I'm just giving you what I think. Uh, we've seen dual releases. So don't be surprised if next week is dead and then the week after we get two figures <laughs> because that's normally what happens, right? But again, my prediction is I think we're going to see Ahsoka next week. Uh, it's definitely coming in October, so most likely next week. But if not, probably the next one. And this guy should be late October, early November, you know, to to be to be released. So that's, that's what I think it's going to happen. It's beautiful. 
because I, yeah. I love this figure. I, I, I don't know. I got, I got crazy when I sold it, but I, I can't wait to see a uh, shore trooper. One of the best designs in the star Wars universe to me. Yeah. Besides the hover tank trooper, a soul okay. commander, whatever you call him. But. Agreed, agreed. So, and I think that's it. I mean, I think we cover as much as we could. We tried to make this an hour-long show, and we actually expand a little bit. But uh, let, let us know in the comments below, guys, what do you think about the show? What do you think about this figure, the predictions, and what's going on? Are you going to be in trouble in Q4? Do you have some money saved? Did you budget yourself? Let me know. I want to see. I want to read what you say. Easy last, last uh, closing points for the night. Great lineup of figures coming out of Hot Toys. We have experienced way too many delays. We've experienced way too many past due stuff. It's just, you know, pre-order after pre-order after pre-order. So to see this, like you said, the uh, quarter four wallet disaster coming apocalypse, it's kind of bittersweet. We love it. We, we see a ton coming. Finally, figures we love is coming. But... It does mean trouble for your wallet. It is not everyone is rich. Not no one grows money on trees. So it is a bit bittersweet. So with that being said, depending on what your life situation is, I mean, it's a good time or a bad time. But I think I think it's a good time for hot toy collectors because, I mean, we get this stuff no matter what. We 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 either sell our children or miss a bank payment on the house or, and stuff like that. So I'm, <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna sell my my left you're, hand. You're, you're, you're... <laughs> but uh yeah it is it is gonna be a, a very busy q4 we mentioned this many times we warned you guys many many live streams ago that this is gonna happen and we are at this point now q4 there's no going back it's gonna happen get ready Toy budget yourself you know don't get crazy make decisions if you can wait longer for this you can wait longer for that by all means it's fine there's no right or wrong way of collecting just put it that way don't get influenced by me. Don't get influenced by any other person because ultimately, at the end of the day, it is you who's going to make the decision based on your budget. And if you listen to us, you'll go broke. <laughs> if you listen to us, you're going to be broke in no time because we're going to tell you to buy everything because we love everything. I mean, everything you is know? awesome. Everything is awesome. I mean, come on. It's a, it's a high-end collectible figure, so everything is awesome. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate your time. We're going to wrap this up. Don't forget to like to and subscribe. And don't forget to follow my friend Easy Company Collectibles. Watch his shows, buy our pass, reviews. He's fun. He's, he's, he's the best. Shout out to everyone who showed up tonight. And, um, and that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook group, Six Scale Media, for anything related once it's called figures. Both links in the description below. And if you have some time, Check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well. Be well. And see you around in the next video.